Hello everybody! In today's video we're going to see how to remove, replace, and tighten lateral adjustment levers. I was breaking down this beautiful bedrock number 604 that you see sitting there when I took the iron off and the lateral adjustment lever just fell on the floor. And what you end up with is something that looks like this. Well that old bedrock was quite the challenge because I had to take everything apart with the torch. Including every part of the frog. This is the frog that had the lateral fall off. I've already gone ahead and repaired it. It's reattached nice and tight and it works smooth just like it's supposed to. I've removed and reattached a lot of lateral adjustment levers over the years but never gave any thought as to why they must come off. So I did a little investigation. I started grabbing some planes off the shelf and I started grabbing planes off the pile and I was checking out the lateral adjustment levers on them. I looked at old and I looked at new and there's one thing that I noticed was pretty much true and that's the pin right here that holds that lateral adjustment in. It goes through from this side all the way through the back side. When that lateral adjustment moves, the pin moves. The lateral adjustment lever is not pivoting on the pin itself. The pin is pivoting inside the frog. I did find a couple planes where the lateral was loose and on both of those planes the pin was not pivoting. The lateral itself, it was turning on the pin right here, slipping back and forth, that's why it's loose and eventually it's going to fall off. In preparation for doing this video I took two of the frogs that had pins that were frozen in the frog and I disassembled them. I removed the levers and I punched the pins out. One of my viewers he requested this video and he wanted it so bad that he sent me that bedrock frog that you see sitting right here. That frog by the way has the pin stuck which is the reason why that lateral adjustment lever came off. So I have not punched the pin out yet. What I did do was lock a pair of long needle nose pliers on it, see if it would turn, kind of bird up the edges a little bit, it won't turn. So now I have an unmolested frog and I'm going to show you how to remove the lateral adjustment lever. Before I remove that lateral I want to point something out on these frogs. I've got different eras of frogs. The one on the right is a totally screwed up frog, but the part we're working on is good. It's got a, a raised portion right here, and there's a low spot in the front. That's important to note where that low spot is. Working to the left, might be kind of hard to see. I'll skip over to this one here. There's also a recess right here. This frog has the same thing. The bedrock frogs, it has a slightly raised portion that the lateral rests on. So there is a little space underneath here. So that space we're going to use to our advantage. I've locked the frog tight in the vise with some wooden grips on it. Now I'm coming in with a, about a medium sized flat tip screwdriver where that recess was that I showed you. And I'm tapping it all the way in. The idea is I want to try to tap it till it bottoms out. There it is. And every lateral that I take off this way ends up being bent. I'm going to take that over to my other vise and just by hand bend it back straight. You want to line the jaws of your vise up in the center of the hole and that's where the center of your bend is when you bend it back in place. You can pretty much just eyeball this straight when it comes back. That looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to take a light hammer and a punch. I'm going to knock the pin out. What I have here is the jaw faces that I removed to put my wood jaw faces in. I'm using that hole and lining the pin up over top of the hole, taking a small punch. Or you can start it just with the light hammer and finish putting it through with the punch. Up, oh, it fell through on its own. That was it. The first thing you're going to notice is that the modern pin. That one on the right right there is longer than all of the older pins. The diameter of the pins is exactly the same, the length is different. If you've lost your pin and you need to fabricate one, here's the measurements right here. The uh, diameter of them all is 5 seconds of an inch. That's the back side is 5 seconds. The front side that the lateral fits over is 9 64 That was both on the long and the short one. 
The length of the pins is one quarter of an inch except for the long ones. It was 11 30 seconds. The diameter of the hole was 5 30 seconds, exactly the same as what the diameter of the pin is. So now it's time to look at how you put a lateral adjustment lever back on. First thing you have to do is make sure you identify the small ends of your pins. The small end is going to go into the bottom side of the frog. So I'm going to line up the pin with the hole through my jaw face. I want to make sure that that frog is perfectly flat up against the metal. And I tap the pin in until it's seated. Now I just repeat that process on the rest of the frogs. And now that all the pins are in, I'm going to take this pair of long needle nose pliers. I'm going to come from the top side. I'm going to lock it on the sides of the pin. I'm going to squeeze hard. And I'm just going to put put some burrs, kind of mess it up a little bit on, on four sides. Next step is going to be going with a little bit bigger hammer and two different punches. One's a large one. I'm going to use that first and a smaller one. And we're going to reattach the laterals. I almost forgot to mention probably the most important step. Take either a needle nose vice grips or anything else. Grab onto the end of that pin that went through there and make sure it turns the entire range of what you want your lateral to turn before you put your lateral on. So I slid the lateral over the pin. I made sure the pin was loose. I'm using my big punch. To initially set it, some pretty firm wax. I'm going to do a check, making sure that the pin is still turning. I'm going to give it a couple more firm wax. The only thing touching metal on the underside is the pin. You don't want to break your frog. Lateral is tight, pin is moving. Now I'm going to a pointy punch just to be safe and I'm going to hit it right on the outside edge of the pin up against the edge of the ladder where the hole is. Give them a couple taps on both sides. That's just for good measure. And that should do it. And with one final lateral left to put on I decided I'd try something different and that would be to make my own pin. I've got the pin for this lateral but I want to try to make one just in case that's something that had to be done. I took this piece of uh, metal rod. I don't know for sure how hard it is. It seems soft. I took it over to my miniature small belt sander and I sanded it down to the correct width. I'm going to cut it off to slightly longer than the original pin. Maybe by about a 32nd or a 16th of an inch. And on the bottom is the new pin. Let's see if it works. And the first attempt came up short. You can see that the underside is kind of mushroom. The mushroom, that I like that because it means it's going to stay in. But it wasn't long enough on the top side to, uh, to hold it in place. So I'm going to try another one just a little bit longer. So I've tapered the end of the pin so it comes all the way through the lateral. Now I'm going to cut it off like I did the first time. But now I've added some length to the overall pin. And here's a look at the longer pin before I try to pin it in place. I've got it sticking out both the top and the bottom. I've added a razor knife blade as a spacer underneath the frog. The notch is in that blade. The one notch goes right around the pin. What I, what I don't want to do is to have that pin flatten at the first couple of hits. I want it to be sticking out the back side of the frog. So now I'm going to see what happens. Take a first look. Okay, the pin's turning. Let's give it some more wax. Check it again. Uh, tightened up. And the pin is still turning. How's the underside look? Alright, now we gotta see what we can do about flaring the underside. I think this is going to work. I'm going to remove the spacer. Hit it again. It 
and that made the lateral very tight. I'm going to see if I can take the smaller punch now. Dead center hit. Let's do that again. Now you notice I've got the pin over the hole. So when I when I tap it, it can go through. I'm going to use a center punch this time. Alright, she's tight and we've got movement. So the key to success for making your own pin appears to be using that razor knife blade right there. What you didn't see was I had to enlarge the notch so it would fit over the pin. But that held the, the pin some, some distance away from the metal underneath when I initially peened over the uh, or mushroomed over the front side then I removed the razor knife blade gave it a few more hardy wax and mushroomed the underside so now the the pin is in there tight and the lateral moves and the pin moves at the same time in the frog I put some oil on it and as you can see the pin is tight in the lateral and the pin is turning in the frog probably can't see it from that side She's nice and tight, just like what she should be. This one was a success. So now I have successfully replaced six laterals, but the one I'm most proud of is the one here on the right because I made the pin and it came out really good. The key to success is making sure that you've got a firm, hard metal surface. Not everybody has an anvil. Find something that you can use and that way you can mushroom the pin and it's going to be in there probably for another lifetime. And there is one last thing worth mentioning, and that's the washer right there that's on the laterals, this round circular piece. Some of those you'll see will turn, and most of them won't. This one right here, the bedrock is in tight. I think all of them, all the rest of these on the lineup are, are tight except for maybe that last one. Tight or loose does not make a difference. It's going to work just fine, but if one of those falls off, you're going to have to reset that pin just like we did the pin for the lateral. Except this one's a lot easier because it doesn't have to have any free movement anywhere. So just line everything up, put it on your uh, hard metal surface, get your punch, and give it a few good wraps and tighten it back in again. And if you're one of the lucky ones and all you needed to do was tighten your lateral adjustment lever, that's way easier. You tighten it up by giving, by making sure that the end on the back side of your frog is firmly on metal and that's the only part of the frog touching. And then get your, uh, your punch and give it a few wax. Test it every couple of wax until you feel it's tightened up like you want it to be. Well that's it for today. I hope this was a uh, worthwhile video. Got to look to the pile, see what's next. But until then, it's time for supper. Bye.